Well, greetings, friends, neighbors. I'd like to share a verse with you that we'd actually have tomorrow if there was going to be Sunday school. It's Luke chapter 15, verse 10. There is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repenteth. Now, who doesn't want joy? We all want joy, don't we? Especially at a time like this. We see a lot of sad people in this world who need joy. You know, when Jesus spoke these words, he actually was telling a story about a lady who had lost something. You ever lost something before? Something that meant a lot to you? It can be a pretty frustrating, pretty nerve-wracking thing. Well, this lady had lost a silver coin. That silver coin meant a lot to her because it was valuable. Now, let's see if you'd be able to help her find her silver coin. See if you can find the silver coin on this page. Try not to pay attention to all the good looking yummy snacks. Try to find the silver coin. You found it yet? It shouldn't be too hard for most of you. It's right down there in the bottom corner if you haven't seen it yet. Good job. Well, this lady looked hard for this coin. She swept her house. She even kept searching at night using a candlelight. She looked and looked and looked for this coin. And you know, that reminds me of God. Did you know that he is seeking sinners? People who need to know Jesus as Savior? The Bible says the Son of Man has come to seek and to save that which was lost. You know, it's sin that comes into our lives that causes us to be lost from God, even though we all belong to him because he's the one who created you and me. God is searching for you. God wants to find you and bring you into his family through Jesus Christ. Well, eventually this lady's searching paid off and she found this coin. She was pretty happy about that, as you can imagine. You probably know the feeling when you're worried about losing something and you finally find it. Well, she found it. And you know, similarly, the verse says, there is joy in the presence of the angels of God over one sinner that repented. That means one sinner, one person who confesses their sins and asks Jesus to be their Savior. When that happens, there's joy in heaven. God has joy. He's got another child in his family. The angels have joy. There's another person that they can serve and protect. You have joy in your heart because now you have peace with God. And also, you might have some friends, some Christian friends who also know Jesus as their Savior, who are really happy to hear that you got saved, that you asked Jesus into your heart. And you know, I want to say this. If you ever ask Jesus into your heart, please tell me, because that would really make my day. I pray every day for you guys here in this neighborhood. You know, I want to I want to close with telling you a story about a friend of mine named Kim, who's a firefighter. You know, one day, this was quite a number of years ago, Tim went to the doctor and he found out that he had a problem with his heart. When his boss learned about it, his boss said, Tim, I'm sorry, but we're not going to be able to have you be one of our firefighters anymore because it's really important that firefighters have a healthy heart. Because This is a pretty tough job, fighting fires and that kind of thing. Well, Tim went home and he was pretty sad because he liked being a firefighter. But, you know, later on that evening, as he was sitting there kind of bummed out, his oldest son, Michael, came up to him, and he said something to his dad that made him really happy. Michael said, Dad, I just asked Jesus into my heart. You know, Tim told me that when Michael said that to him, Tim didn't care about everything that had happened that day that had made him sad, because he knew that Michael was going to heaven someday. And Tim ended up keeping his job because God worked it out. And Tim's still fighting fires today. And his son's going to heaven. But have you asked Jesus Christ into your heart? Have you asked him to be your savior? Thank you. That's all for now.